Hi guys, uh, so today uh, I am going to do a pick up pour hopefully and I am going to use a lot of iridescent paints or pigments from Color and that is my pillow paint which I am trying to empty out uh, almost out of it so just trying to get rid of every single drop from it this is a 11 by 14 canvas and so that happens when you're using a canvas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and lift that part up by using a die so let me show you what I do. So I am going to put some cups here, probably four of them. So no, one is enough. One is enough. And then I'm going to put a tile on it. And then I'm going to um, work with it because that way the puddle won't sink. So that's the heck we are going to do. So that's that. And then you're going to put it that way. So now not sinking in did you get what I did so I put a tile as a support and now I put my canvas and then I usually put only that much paint and after I blow it out I put more on the sides so I need some black, this is just my black and my, uh, I think it's golden carbon black in my pouring medium. But usually when I use the black uh, color as my first puddle, it just looks like a black base. Uh, and that's what I would do for any other color as well if I'm interested in getting that as my base color. Okay. And now I'm just gonna do it this way because this side usually is something I can't get to work. It isn't cold then is peacock feather iridescent gold was from color art then is this very rich green it's called peacock feather it's from color art can you see how beautiful and gorgeous it is i love peacock colors so it has to be my favorite one well one of my favorites Okay, I'm going to add a tad bit of Guatemalan green because this is my second favorite iridescent green. And some iridescent red. then is blue boy this rich cobalt blue almost blue boy then is iridescent uh, violet blue or blue
and I'm going to add gold for and then I'm going to add my boys and berry this is my most favorite it's bluish purple and now I'm going to add my gold again then this is gonna be a triple CA pour so then is my gold CA not going to add a lot of it just a tiny bit I think I have too much color on but that's okay then I'm going to add my teal CA which is golden brand my gold CA was a bunch of different brands mixed so it was Amsterdam it was India's camel um, and what else uh, it was you Utrecht or whatever the brand is called that one all mixed and then is my black sea my puddle looks quite big so that okay triple c4 anyway now i'm going to start my hair dryer get my ca's moving and then with i'll use my lungs to blow first and then use my blow dryer on it so make sure you hit your cold setting for a cold And then, wherever it didn't work, just blow. those gold cells on this side this side purple some teal okay now I just need some here because if I don't then my paint like my cells are going to move faster than my base paint and then I'm going to lose those I don't want to lose those and I'm just going to move the paint more on this side because these are the two sides we are going to have to move longer distance than these two oops should not use my hands because they are paint filled Let me take you guys to see the cells. Okay, 
So that's our pour. And now we are at my spinner. And I'm going to put it there like that. I'm going to add some pink here. And I'm going to use some leftover paint from before. This is all the extras I save from my previous pores which goes down. It just helps the paint move a bit easier and then slowly move. We spin once clockwise and once anti-clockwise. So now I just have four corners left. Otherwise it looks all good. I love these cells so I hope I don't lose them. Okay, one more spin. Okay, that's it. It's going to be super blingy, super iridescent one. Oops. I have a bit more of this black paint in the middle. I'm going to do one trick that's usually more cell activated there. I'm going to go and just squeeze it out with a dropper. And that's because if there is more there, then the cells still keep moving for a long time. And then this pillow which comes up in this black part which I don't like I just paint it over hand paint okay that is gorgeous So I think I like my center, but I don't like my center like that. It's getting weird shape. So I'm going to just shape it like that.
Okay. That is it.